Welcome to a new video. Um, it's been a little while. This one's going to be a bit of a different video because unlike most of mine where I show a uh, commercial synthesizer, this is one I'm actually making. It's a Christmas project. Um, got a bit bored so I thought I'd see if I can make my own synthesizer. Um, this is not finished yet because I haven't yet got the buttons completely working. You can probably see there's some bits that I have to solder onto there. Um, but yeah, and this the other thing is, this is not a normal conventional synthesizer that you all are used to. This is actually an additive synthesizer. Because I thought, oh, let's give it a go. So, I got probably the smallest processor board. This is an AT Tiny 85 six kilobytes of flash uh, available and half a k of ram so i thought ah surely i wouldn't be able to do anything on that so i gave it a go and well let you let you listen so basically i programmed this up plug him in Okay, so it's powered by a 9 volt battery. I'm using the no coast or no control as a CV. So it's got 1 volt per octave CV in, analog gate in. Um, it's actually pulse width modulated out, so it works well through speakers. Yeah, let's turn it on. So this is an additive synthesis or synthesizer. So it uses six harmonics. Um, eventually, they're going to be the blacks, one for each. <clears throat> It'll have a value, a phase, there's a preset, and then there's an envelope for each of those uh, harmonics. There's an attack, decay, and a type. In other words, does it hold, does it come straight back down, etc. So anyway, let's have a listen. So I've got five preset sounds. Eventually, you're going to be able to program up your own, <clears throat> but let's have a listen. So I've got a... That's just a straight sign. Um, oh, the other thing is, of course, additive doesn't need a filter because you can control the harmonics directly. You can actually bring them up and down, emulating pretty much any type of filter, bandpass, notch, low, high, whatever you want. And that's, that's the reason I sort of thought I'd give it a go. Anyway, so that's... It's a sine wave with an immediate onset and then a, a decrease. I can turn this button or this pot here and that's a square wave and it's got a filtered onset <clears throat> and offset. So it's emulating a low pass filter and a VCA. Sounds a bit clarinetty like. Now the next one uh, has a sawtooth. Oh, and by the way, in additive synthesis, you create a square wave by doing all the odd harmonics. So I've got uh, harmonics well, number one, number three, and number five, and that's enough to give you a reasonably good square wave. It's not perfect, but it's it's reasonably good. With a sawtooth, I've you use every one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I turn this a bit more. And this is using a plucky um, envelope. So everything's immediate onset, and then the harmonics uh, fade away, but in order. So in other words, the high frequency harmonics go away first, giving you the equivalent of a low pass filter in an envelope. So we end up with So it's sort of a, a plucky string. Yeah, another one. This is one that's particularly good, by the way, for um, additive synthesizers. A bell. So, or chime. Now with this one, you're only using harmonics one and six. And again, if you listen carefully, if I hold the note down, it's not 
holding the gate. So in other words, it's just an AR. But if you listen carefully, you'll hear the high frequency drop off faster than the low. Cool. The last one <clears throat> of the presets is, I call it a flute. It's basically the equivalent of a filtered sawtooth. So I've only used uh, harmonics one, two, and three, and two and three are significantly down on what they would be for a sawtooth. So. Now I've just tuned this for one octave. It's actually got a full, oh, it's meant to be about five octa octaves range. So let's just, and by the way, if you remember the one with the AR, if I hold the note down, this is now a, an attack sustain release. So. Anyway, so that's the sort of the, the level. Anyway, that's the, that's all it is for the moment. Um, hopefully I'll have another video soon showing the completed set. So basically you'll be able to select your oscillator, one, two, three, four, five, six. You'll be able to select the strength of that oscillator plus its phase, or you can start from a preset. Uh, and I might make a few more presets depending on the memory and change each one of those oscillators. So you can press a button uh, there, for example, and then choose one of the presets, or you can twist the pot to get um, more resolution. Um, I don't think it's too bad. There's only six kilobytes of flash in there, so all you've heard so far, including all of the presets, uses about two-thirds of that. We're using about 4K. So it's actually far more efficient than I thought. I didn't think I'd be able to you know, get everything in with that little bit of RAM, but yeah, looks like it's getting, it's sort of, it's working. So anyway, that's just a quick one. Hopefully I'll be back in a couple of days with the fully working system and I'll be able to show you the ins and outs of a proper um, additive synthesizer. Uh, they're actually pretty cool. So the more I've, I've played with it, the more I've learned. Um, anyway, I'll leave you with that. If there are any questions about it, uh, just leave them in the comments. And yeah, see you next time. Okay, bye.